Hello, precioso. Hi, Kat. <laughs> How are you, Brendan? I'm great now. Good. Um, you are going to teach me the ways mm -hmm. of test mode on the Minuto. Precisely. Okay, so first off, what is test mode and why do I care? Um, test mode is a way of going into your software on your machine okay. and testing all the functionality of your machine. So like the mm -hmm. heating element, your boiler, the grinder, the motor for your brew unit, and your pump. Mm -hmm. um, just to make sure those things are in fact functioning and it's so like if you're in your main mode and you have an alarm, sometimes it can prevent your grinder from working. So it's hard to tell if maybe your sensor is wrong for that alarm or if your grinder is in fact not working. Got it. So if you go into test mode, you can easily tell what's going on. So on the Minuto, how do I get in there? Um, it's actually kind of tricky. Okay. Um, luckily for me, I can, I can easily reach the cleaning cycle and espresso uh, button easily. Okay. And you have to hold those two buttons down and turn on the machine in the back simultaneously. But but if you have little goblin hands like me, do I need a friend to help you, me? You'll probably need a friend, exactly. And I was noticing, Michael. yeah, actually you can get it. See, I think all my piano playing has kind of helped out. Because <laughs> I, can, I can easily get here. And, but these buttons are kind of, um, yeah, I mean, you really have to make contact. Yeah. So, but either way, let's do it. So but you yeah. hold those two down, yep. the, the cleaning cycle and the espresso. Exactly. And then you turn the machine on in the back of the, the on button on the back of the machine. I'm trying to find it here. Where is it? Cat, where is it? There it is. I found it. <laughs> okay, here we go. And you'll know because it will go into um, a screen that you've never seen before, <laughs> this one. So this first screen is telling us um, the firmware, that's the software for mm -hmm. this machine. And it's telling you, you know, the amount of voltage it takes and everything like that. Um, so, and then to toggle to the next screen, and each screen is testing different functions of the machine. Mm -hmm. So right here, it's just telling you exactly what type of software is in the machine. We'll go to the next one. This one is actually just testing all your buttons. So if you pressed a button here and nothing happened, you would simply know that that button itself is not working. Okay. So it's just, that that's, that's all that's here. And you can see up above, it's just keys. That's what's all it's asking. We'll so those to... buttons are working just fine because they all exactly. responded. Exactly. And this one is for your inputs. Let me sit up here. This one, um, it's, you know, it's, so if we remove the drip tray, for example, let's keep on going. That was in the way. Now it's like, no, it's not in there. Was, was it ever at a Y? I didn't see it. Oh, door. Oh, the door, it, the door went to no? Oh, yeah. Okay, exactly. Door is yes and no. They must be the same switch or something. But essentially, this is ex this will show you. So the second one down is why, um, because it says the bean container is. No, it's no. No, it's no because they're shut. Yep. And then no for water. That's because we don't have any water in this guy. Exactly. Okay. Um, there might even be a way if I can figure out where the sensor is, which I probably won't be able to do. But you can sometimes you can trick the machine. But we didn't fill this up with water. But it could be right here maybe. No, nope. mm. but yeah. Well, why is my drip in? That's a good question. Oh, maybe it's this? Yeah. Oh my goodness gracious, Kat, you're so smart. Because the Minuto does both an espresso pressure and then also a drip coffee pressure. So now, because of that, my espresso is in. Exactly. So there's a sensor in there to tell the board which what the user has selected. And that's telling you if it's, you know, if it's selected or not. You know what I think I did right there because I dropped a little science on you for once. What? Yeah. I don't think I like this at all. I know. At all. Changing our dynamic. Okay, so. Let's go to the next one. Now this is where we start having fun. Now we can put our brew unit in uh, work position or home position. It's currently in home position. This is telling you the amount of rotations your motor is doing. So we're in work position right now, which means, you know, you could not take your brewing unit out. It should always be in home. Oops, and then we'll go back to home here. And this is good because you, you'll get the yes there. Mm -hmm. So then you know if you're ever having any trouble with your brew unit, if the motor's working, and if both the sensors are working, just by coming into test mode, you can see that all those things are functioning properly. Okay. So let's go to the next one. Okay, so on the left side here, we have our electro valve. And we can hear that go on and off. There it is. And what is the so, electro valve? The electro valve is uh, 
it's controlling the water path. It's like shutting it off with electricity. Got it. So yeah, as soon as it gets voltage and it's told to open, it will allow water to pass through that path. Okay. Um, and we're simply opening it and closing it here. And then now we have our pump over here, but we have no water, but that's what's going on there. It looks like there's a little water. So it water. is testing, hey, um, my pump does work. Exactly. Okay. So you test that there, but as you can see, we don't have a single valve open right now, so it doesn't really have anywhere to go. Actually, I bet you if I... <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> that, thanks. Yeah, appreciate that, B. I'd like to say I didn't see that coming. Mm. But okay, here we go. Now we'll go to the next one. Okay, so that's our heating element on this side. And now I've turned it on. You have to hold it down to leave it on. Um, it's kind of a manual thing now. It's gone to 30 degrees. And actually, I don't know. That can't be degrees. There's no way it's that cold. But that you can hold that down and heat up whatever water you might have in your boiler and then you know, go back to your pump and pump out hot water just to ensure it's working. Okay. Um, and then this will tell us if the grinder's working. Exactly. Which it, it most certainly is. I was just trying to get the revolutions up there because it looks like, mm -hmm. you know, the, the gears of the grinder went around 15 revolutions there. Okay. Well, let's see what else we got. I think that, oh, now we're back to keys. keys. So that's, yeah, that's okay. all the functioning in the test mode for the Minuto. Cool. So basically I'm going to use this if it's not responding some way and I want to kind of diagnose where the problem is, if exactly. I need to take it to attack. Exactly. That kind of stuff. Yeah. If like a good example is your pump. A lot of people run into issues where they're like, my pump is not working. I'm certain of it. Well, a good way to really be certain is by to see. going in a test mode, going in here and selecting pump. If you hit that and nothing happens, your pump is out. Got it. Cool. All right. Thank you very much, B. Of course.